Hey guys, I'm doing my yearly favorites video. It's kind of like a monthly favorites, but it is my favorite products of 2010. And I think this video is going to be really good. It's going to be long because I have a lot of things that I want to talk about. But these are my products that I have been reaching for all year that even though I might have discovered recently or I might have discovered way back in January, these are the products that I reach for almost on a daily basis that I think are amazing. I have a lot of these in my kit and Without these, I feel like most makeup looks cannot look as good. So, I hope you guys enjoy. So, really quick, my two favorite must-have amazing brushes of this year has been the 217. I d basically don't even use the 224 anymore because I find this brush is a lot better. Yeah, I love this brush. It's a really, really good one to have. Also, I'm not going to be explaining too much about the products because if I did that, then I would be going on forever. But I'm just going to show them to you really quick. The second brush that I love a lot is the MAC 130 brush. I got this from New York and I just love it. It's a shorter version of a stippling brush. It's um, a little bit more densely packed together than a stippling brush and it's amazing for foundation. As for lipsticks, my number one lipstick of the entire year has been Heather Buff by Bobbi Brown. If you guys are darker like me and are looking for the perfect nude lip, you guys should definitely give this a try. It has been um, a non-fail lipstick my entire year. Then, if you guys also want to try something else, this is by MAC. It's called Half and Half Lipstick. It's another great option for a nude lip. It's what I'm wearing right now. I don't have on any lip gloss on top, so this is what it would look like on you. I've also been loving Midi Mauve. I've been showing this to you guys, you know, all throughout even last year, and I still love this lipstick. It's a great, great option. It's a pinkish color from MAC. Then, in terms of blush, I have been loving the NARS Blush in Lovejoy. It's a really pretty, peachy, um, glowy blush, and it looks so great in everybody's skin color. Then, from MAC, a mineralized blush duo called Earth to Earth. I love this. I wrote a lot about this on my blog, so if you guys haven't checked out that post, you should. It's a great color. Works for almost all skin types except if you are extremely dark it might not work for you but nonetheless it's a great you know really glowy muted peachy pink so it works for all types of makeup looks then I've also been loving Harmony blush by MAC it is kind of a dusty rose color and looks amazing on my skin color it also works really well for lighter skin colors but it might not work for people who are darker than me but it's a very neutral, natural blush. So if you don't like blush too much, but you want to wear it and not look like a clown, then try that one out. It looks great. I also like Trace Gold by MAC a lot. I use this as a highlight a lot of the time. Or sometimes I mix it in with any blush that I'm using because it doesn't have chunky glitter. And it's a little bit more of a highlighter than a blush. So if you use this all over your cheek, in addition to any other blush color, you get a really pretty radiant effect. So... This is a great way to make blushes that don't have much shine look um, glowy on your skin. Then to set my makeup, there is nothing I like better than Max Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in medium dark, and I love this because it gives you a glowing, dewy makeup look without making it look flat and matte and really boring, and it makes your makeup stay on longer. These are so sheer that they let your real skin quality breathe through from underneath, and it doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup, so I really like that. In terms of foundation, for a quick everyday face, I love the MAC Studio Fix in NC42. This is a, um, it's a powder foundation, so it's thick like a regular liquid foundation would be, but it's a lot faster to put on because it's powder, so there's really no mess involved. Then, my other go-to foundation has been my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is the color Syracuse, but I have kind of gone through a lot of different colors with this foundation. I've used Cadiz, I've used... Syracuse, I've used Tahoe, and all, like, just this formula in general is amazing. If you guys have oily skin, but if you have a good primer, then you should try this out. If not, it's not meant for oily skin, but there is no foundation that I prefer to this one. It's just been amazing. I've been using this since about June in different colors because I had a really bad tan then, and I lost it now. So, I've been using that for about six to seven months, just different shades, and that formula is just fantastic. Then in terms of concealer, I have been loving my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the color NW35. Amazing for under eye. Amazing as a highlight for your brow bone even. I'm going to show you guys how to do this concealer trick that I'm talking about. And it's just the most amazing formula. It's completely crease proof and 
there's nothing I could have asked for that's better than that. I've been searching for a concealer that doesn't crease for the longest time and I've never found it. So I was really excited when this came out. It does not crease. You don't need to um, powder it with anything. It stays on forever. I love this formula. Another great option is the Mia Belitza Under Eye Illuminator in Medium Deep. I love this also. It's got like a little, um, little application tip kind of thing. But this is great if you don't want as much of a thick coverage and this is great it looks a lot more natural it's what I'm wearing right now it covers great but it looks a lot more natural it doesn't look like you're actually wearing concealer which I like about this when you put this on you can definitely tell that you're wearing concealer but it does a great job so they both have their own uses they both cover really well but one looks a little bit more natural than the other as a primer I've been wearing the face protect um, SPF 50 face massage by MAC I never believed in wearing primers until the summer when my oil was out of control and I was so sick of it that I had to find something that I really liked. And there's no better um, primer than this one for oily skin. If you have oily skin and you haven't figured out what to do yet, how to keep that oil at bay, this is this will be your next holy grail product. It's expensive, it's $30, but a complete must-have and I love this. I know it's the middle of winter right now, but I still use this every single day because that's what a good job it does in terms of controlling my oil. Then for lips, um, I've been loving my Lip Erase in the color Dim by MAC. This is a lip concealer for your lips and I love it. I have this on under my lipstick today so you can tell what it looks like. And it's just amazing. This is a pro product only so you can't get this at the regular MAC store. Then also with lips, I have been using my favorite lip liner all year has been Barbecue Lip Liner by MAC. It looks really great if you are a little bit darker like me, but it also looks really good on light-skinned people and really dark people as well. It does a great job to kind of mix in with your lipstick and not stand out as an entity of its own. So it's a great idea to kind of make your lips look a little bit thinner on the corners or if you want to overdraw your lips, this is the perfect lip liner. It's kind of, it's a darker brown, but it works really well even with pinks, with corals, and with nude lipsticks. So it's a really versatile lip liner. Then, um, for cheek highlighters, I just discovered this recently. This is called Pearl by MAC, and it's amazing. It looks kind of like a yellowish gold highlighter, and it's awesome. Like, it looks really, really natural. Like, for instance, if you have Shell by MAC, Shell looks like water in your face, and if you want that effect, that's great. But Hush gives you a much more... <laughs> It gives you a much more natural looking glow and I think it, I, th I feel like it sticks on better as well and it's not as hard to blend out. So um, I remember with Shell, if you put this on, it kind of looked like a streak across your face. It's very easy for that to go wrong. But with this, you put it on and since it looks a lot more natural, it's not as obvious and you can't really go as wrong with this shade. Then I got this Gila Custom Blend Cosmetics Highlighter. This is available in Gila.com. It's actually been made by one of my favorite makeup artists ever, and I love this highlight color. This is probably my favorite highlight color universally in all skin colors. Usually, there's not one highlighter that you can use on really light people and really dark people alike, but this one is it. If you want one must-have highlighter in your kit so you won't have to go to anything else, this is it. It's amazing. I'll put the links in the bottom bar. Then... In terms of eyeshadow, Espresso eyeshadow has completely not failed me this entire year. It's awesome. I use this for my eyebrows on a daily basis. It looks good on all colored eyebrows. It looks great as like a deep um, brown eyeliner. It looks great as an eyeshadow crease color. It's just a really versatile, perfect color for everything. Also, Woodwinked eyeshadow. I think I have used this more on clients than any other color in my entire kit. And that says a lot. You'll get a lot of clients who want something really neutral and Woodwinked is the perfect neutral color to use on anybody. It's also really pretty for weddings because it gives, it gives the bride like a really glowy um, gold color that's a little bit, it's more unique than normal gold. So I really, really like that. Yes, I'm finishing up the, uh, the favorites video today. Last time I was filming it, um, my camera battery died halfway so I wasn't able to finish it. But that's why I'm wearing different clothes and a different look today. I already have filmed a tutorial on this look if you guys like that. You should check it out. It should be up soon. Um, but in addition to the products that I've just talked about, some other products that I've been loving this year that I had to like point out to you guys was an eyelash curler. This is not any special eyelash curler. I'm not specifically recommending this one. But basically an eyelash curler. Just because without curling your eyelashes, they just don't look as good. And 
this can add so much volume and length to your lashes that you want your mascara to do but it can never do so having a good eyelash curler on hand is a really really good thing to have and it just makes your eyes look so much more dramatic and beautiful every day then in terms of pigments, I think the one pigment that I have literally used all year round um, so much is this one. It's a MAC um, pigment. It's like a frosty, really pretty, shimmery gold. And I don't know the name of it because it's a sample, but I think it's something like Reflex Copper or Glitter Copper or something like that. But it's a great one for brides, especially South Asian brides who want a little bit more drama to their makeup, who like it to be a little bit more out there as opposed to really really neutral this is the perfect pigment to use i probably use this about 20 times already and i still have more than half the jar left then i love my studio finish concealer in nc42 i had this a long time ago when i was a teenager but i i, I finished that one and i kind of forgot about it but i bought this again i really love it this is this is what it looks like and you do have to kind of warm this up on your hand before using it otherwise it's really chalky but the reason I like this is because once you put this on your face and you powder it, even if you put on blush or anything else on top of it, it goes on really well. It doesn't like spot and, you know, stick to all areas that have this concealer. So whatever you put on on top of the concealer to layer on, like powder, blush, whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, accentuate what you covered up. So that's great. Then I think my absolute favorite product of 2010, hands down, is the Naked Palette. It took me a really long time to get this just because it wasn't available near me um, at any of the Sephora's. But I waited for this and finally got this in about four to five months ago. And if I've had, I have so many friends who don't wear makeup at all who are not interested in it. And they ask me, like, you know, what's the number one thing that they should buy if they want to start wearing makeup? And I've always recommended this. The reason for that is because it's got every perfect neutral color you could ever want. And it has a few of those different type of colors, like a purple, a black, a gunmetal, a kind of pinkish silver. So it has like a few of those interesting new shades, but it also has everything a beginner would want. Also, everything that a person who loves makeup would want because it's all in one palette, easy to transport, and it has, I mean, it's just beautiful. Urban Decay in general has beautiful eyeshadows, but these are just amazing. I love them. And it comes with a great eyeliner, which is completely waterproof, stays on so well, and a primer potion. So there's nothing else that I would suggest more than this palette. But specifically, I think I love the color Sidecar. I use this to highlight so much, and I love it. I love the color Dark Horse. It's a really unique grayish brown color, and I use that in my crease almost every day. And I love Gunmetal so much. It's a really pretty blue it's not the most unique of colors. It looks kind of like Night Divine from MAC, but it just goes on so pretty on my skin color and really, really accentuates um, whatever my features are. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. These are my favorite cream of the crop products of 2010, and I hope this is helpful to some of you who don't have a lot of these products. These are my recommendations, but a lot of the products that I've talked about are not necessarily good only for me. I also have a lot of these in my kit, and so I use them on people of all different skin colors. So. Nothing that I've really talked about today is specific only to me. So regardless of what you look like, what your skin color is, these products are universally great for everyone. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.